to another episode of the Relic Posse. Today it's just a glorious day here in the Finger Lakes. Unfortunately, it's just me today back at a house that we've been at several times. Uh, in fact, I've got some unused footage from previous videos that will probably slip into this video as well. Uh, but one thing I've learned at this property, there's a lot of neat relics, a lot of cool coins, but you have to dig it all, any repeatable signal. And right now my first signal, um, I've got about a 52, 53 uh, for the Garrett, could be garbage. Maybe it's a nickel, maybe it's a relic. We'll see, so um, saddle up. It's time to take another ride with the posse. And let's see what we have here. Rained just the other night, so the digging's pretty easy. And hopefully, things will be popping out for us today. Chris has a golf tournament, so he's not able to make it, and Bill, uh, had a party at his house yesterday. It was fireworks and he wasn't able to make it as well. So it's just me. And All kinds of signals in this one. I got a nail. Looks like I've got a junk pile. I may have to sift through a few things. All right, the first hole, nothing special. It was a coin spill. Unfortunately, all modern coins. Three Zinkins and a 1980 nickel. Um, the Zinkins are pretty bad, but the nickel I can put back into circulation, so I'm five cents richer. Let's see what we find on the next one. Okay, my next repeatable signal, my second hole, is a penny signal, about 78, 79, repeating on the Garrett. I opened a plug and it's in the plug somewhere, so let's see if it is a penny. Found a lot of Wheaties in this area. Fingers crossed it may be another, maybe even an Indian. And it's right there in the plug. little bit of a nail there throwing me off. It is a penny, but it's not a weedy. It's a memorial, but um, at least this one's a copper one. Held up a lot better and this one can go back into circulation. Can't wait to see what we find next. Well, I've done some, dug some garbage, dug some more clad. Dug a few nickels, which I haven't gotten too many nickels out of this yard. Um, so far they've all been Jefferson's, hoping that maybe I'll find a Buffalo. I've definitely found older coins in that area. This one's a Jefferson, but it's 1954, almost 70 years old. The oldest coin I found so far today anyway. Hopefully we'll find some older as we go along. All right, I just found that nickel over there. And I found a penny here, not any older, 1955, but it's a weedy. Same uh, time frame. I could enjoy digging coins from the 50s all day long. Hopefully we'll find some silver. Um, and hopefully we'll find some olders. I know I've dug Indians before, uh, dug older silver, but at least this is a good sign. It's better than clad, better than Zinkins. Let's see what we get next. Got a nice pink penny signal here. Bouncing back and forth, 78, 79. A little nervous, it might be aluminum though. When you lift it up, you can still kind of hear the signal. That's usually a good sign. It might be tin can or something, but um, it sounds good. The numbers are repeating nicely, so we're gonna dig it. and see what we got and I don't see anything but whatever it 
soon as it's in the plug, Another coin spill. Five more pennies. They all seem to be Zinkins. This one might be copper. Still a memorial though. Yep, 1976 and four Zinkins. Oh well. Money's money. Wish me luck on the next hole. Now this one is cool. Sorry about the noise, got a neighbor mowing his lawn. But um, Republic Francais, Algeri. This is a hundred franc coin from Algiers, uh, 1950. So it's not terribly old. Um, a couple years older than the weedy and the nickel I found earlier. So still the oldest coin I found today. But um, the first Algerian coin I've ever found. So, really cool. I like it. Can't wait to see what we find next. I'm not too far from where I found all these coins in the 50s. The penny was over there, the nickel not far. The Algerian coin from 1950 was right here. Got a nice silver signal here. Got all excited, thought maybe I'll find my first silver of the day. It was a dime signal and it was a dime. 1965. Missed it by one year. Oh well, we'll keep looking. Maybe that silver's out there somewhere. And the last time I was here, right up there is where I found that mystery key that people told me. Looks like it probably went to a diary. That's the one, if you remember, had the heart-shaped top on front. Um, I just dug my second hole. My first was another rotting Zinkin, and I found this mystery key, which is really cool. Looks almost like a skeleton key, a little bit smaller than a skeleton key. Anybody have any clue what this might go to? I really love the look of it. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And I'm just mystified what it might belong to, though. If anybody has any ideas, please leave them in the comments. I'd love to know what this was once a key to. All right, let's see what we find next. Wish me luck. Well, I think the mystery of that key has been solved. A friend of mine told me that it uh, was an old handcuff key, which was pretty cool. The next one, uh, not so much a mystery. An old key fob, also key related, but nowhere near as old as the last one. It was a uh, good three or four inches down but obviously not that old. Anyway, still kind of cool. Hopefully the next thing will be a little older. Let's see what we find. Well, after three or four Zinkins, finally got an older coin. It's a Weedy, not a super old one. 1956, I think it says, but still qualifies as a Weedy and it's the oldest one I found today. Hopefully we'll find some more. Wish me luck, and um, we'll see what we find next. Well, those last three clips, as I'm sure you could tell by the lack of leaves on the trees, uh, were from another hunt at the same property back in April. Uh, the rest were all today. It wasn't a great hunt. Um, that, that key toward the end uh, turned out to be the handcuff key from a set of toy handcuffs. Still pretty cool. Still one of my favorite finds of the year. Um, Today turned out to be a fun hunt. I uh, didn't really find a lot in the way of relics, which surprised me because usually at Wood Street, I find more relics than coins. And today it seemed to be all coins. Uh, the coolest was probably that 1950 Algier, Algiers coin. Uh, first one I've ever found of that. But I'm home now, gonna cook up some chicken. I've got some salt potatoes on the stove. And then after dinner, Got a yard to mow. 
But now, I'm going to celebrate what wasn't our greatest hunt of the year, but it was a fun hunt with a Sam Adams Summer Ale. And last year when I had to pick out a grill, I narrowed it down to three grills. And I'm trying to decide which of the three I wanted. And then I realized this was the only one of the three that had this. So to a good hunt, a fun hunt, maybe not the most productive hunt of the year, and hopefully the gang will be all back next week uh, and we'll have a little bit more of a traditional video for you. That's a wrap. And I like this. Citrusy beer. I, I like the citrusy. Bill, Chris, they're not citrus fans, which is one of the reasons I chose this for today, but... A nice crisp beer. Gonna grill, make some salt potatoes, and uh, enjoy what's left of my Sunday. Have a good week, everybody. And join us next week on the Relic Passing.